Now you say that A-T-T-I-T-U-D. I say that it is the negativity. Okay. Now see the transformation this office had now gone through. One of the most effectively and productively run officers in the entire Asian region. Just three years ago, I wanted a passport. A new passport. So what did I do now? If you take the immigration office today, one of the best organizations, effectively and productively, they do their work now. So when I went to get this passport, I thought one day service is open till 1.30 p.m. I went there around about maybe 1.45 or so. Then when I read that, they said, it's closed, one day service is closed at 1 p.m. But I had to get the passport that day because next day I had to apply for some visa. So what did I do now? I walked up to a cubicle and happened to speak to an officer there and I said, I'm quite busy. With the greatest difficulty, I found time to, to come and lodge my application to get a one-day service new passport. And I was of the opinion that it's open till 1.30, but by the time I came, it was too late. But now I get, got to know that they are open till only 1. Is there any way how you could help me, sir? He looked at me, asked me to sit. He just put a minute and he said, yeah, go and pay 7,500 rupees to that counter. So when I went to make the payment there, they said, yes, we will accept the application, but to collect the passport, you have to come after 5 p.m., whereas 4.30 I had a lecture. So I thought, okay, the best that I could do is next day early morning I will come and collect it. But there again, I want kind of an investment early in the morning to come and collect it next day. So I walked up to the same officer and then I told him, Sir, since I got late, they say that to come after 5 o'clock, but 5 o'clock I can't make it. Is there any way that I could come next day morning, tomorrow morning and then collect it by, na by 9 o'clock? He looked at me. He said, can you wait for half an hour? And with, within 23 minutes... He got the passport to, I got the passport to my hand. Would you believe? And I thought it was the old one. No, no, the new one. No mistakes at all. And this act was being praised, appreciated. And then through Deepal, we wrote it to the highest authority. Isn't it, President Secretary? After that, the letter went. Praising this act. Now, how are they doing it now? If you look at the building, it's the same... Processes are the same, probably. Could be furniture is the same. Who had made the difference? People, led by its present Controller General, Mr. Chulananda Pereira. He don't take no as an answer. And always, he had his team saying that, look at ways and means of doing it, and your approach got to be all the time positive. Positive. Dear friends, if you go there now, and when you apply for a passport, in the evening, when they give the passport, they virtually give you all the documents that you gave in the morning. All stamp documents, your signature documents, your JP certification, all that they give. They give in the evening. And how do they do? How do they give it? Uh, along with an envelope, sponsored by a bank. And they say, you are supposed to retain these documents for the next 10 years for any legal requirement. And bank is promoting one of their foreign exchange products in that, on that envelope. So what happened now? If you can keep the passport, surely the recipient can keep, the, keep those documents along with him. So now they don't keep any documents. Then I asked, what proof do you have? He said, everything is scanned. Then I asked, scanned documents, are they accepted for any legal requirement? He said, for that, yes, we have got the clearance. But it is our responsibility to scan it proper and then maintain the records. Then I asked him, sir, why are you doing this? He took me to the fifth floor. And he said, this floor is the place where we generally used to store these documents. And he said, for a day we issue 3,500 passports. Assume that with those applications, each application, you get about... Minimum 8 to 10 supporting documents. So it means that you get about 20 to 30,000 A4 size documents for a day. Means that you need photo maybe about 50, 60 space to keep it for a day. 220 days into that much of a space, that flow is fully gone. In the sense that you have stored there on the entire floor. So now what happened? 
let us have them in the system. It's valid for any legal issue. And let the people who have applied, applicant, keep the applications with them. And that space, what has he done? You don't believe. Dear friends, he has a library, theater, museum, training room, and a gym. Would you believe in a government organization, there is a gym? 300 rupees for a month. Now your next question is, what time can people go there to exercise? And this is one office in the country where you need not write entry time and then exit time. Any time workers can come, any time they can go. But they are being given a task to perform during the day. Now if a person can write, print 100 passports for a day, his target is given fixed as 110. 110 passports for a day. So once he had done those 110 passports, no mistakes, anything, fine. Then straight away you can go to the gym. So I happened to go there around about 3.30 and I could see a couple of people were exercising. Would you believe in a government office? Having a gym? And everything he approaches with a mindset, feeling these are things that what we can do. An award winning organization today 48 countries, out of 48 countries, Sri Lanka got ETA, Electronic Travel Authorization Certificate, and the gift. That award, they got it. Out of 48 countries. The approach is positive. A lady came from Germany on a religious retreat. And she had only one month's visa, 69 years old. Having stayed here for a month, she asked me, Damika, I would like to stay for another two more months. Can you extend your visas? I said, sure. I was holding this lady from her hand, and then I took her to the immigration department. Within 15 minutes, it was extended. You know what this lady told me? Damika, in my country, I can't get it done that fast. But after crossing the road, we stayed for our vehicle to come for 45 minutes. She said, that of course is much faster there in Germany. <laughs> See, so point I'm trying to drive here is, if you really want to put a great service culture in place, always our approach got to be positive. These are things what we can do.